Hey, no way, we got our first crystal, 79kc, eternal crystal, not bad. First drop on the Iron Man, not hardcore, never mind. But yeah, first drop, eternal crystal, no way, 86kc, we get another eternal crystal. Never mind, we'll keep going. Right, we finished this Cerberus task, so we're going to get another one, but just before that, I'm just going to check um, that we've got the boss stuff unlocked. Oh, like a boss, no we haven't. I'm going to tick that now because we're only an Iron Man, so there's like literally no point in not having that unlocked. And I think we've only got 400, yeah, we've only got 428 points, so we'll just keep it that. Let's see what we get next. 184k of Kraken, easy peasy, let's go and do that, nice and AFK. Hey, another Kraken tentacle, not too shabby. So it turns out Trident of the Swamp absolutely rinses through your fire runes, so we're going to have to go and spend like, I don't know, a mil or something on fire runes. Um, but we're going to finish off our task first, we've got five left and we've just recharged it, so we have 1.9k charges. So we'll finish task, then go get loads of fire runes. Right, just got 100,000 fire runes, we can add those to the bank and we'll go get another slayer task. Right, let's see what we get next from Juradel. 157 worms. Can I need to do those for the spit dragon harpoon? Is it dragon harpoon? I don't know. But I'm not really feeling them right now. What have we got next? 237 gargoyles. They're really AFK, so we can go and do those. No problem. Right, finish that gargoyles task. Let's see what's next. 61 drakes. We'll go and do those. There's not too many of them at all. Right, that was a drake's task really quickly completed. Let's see what we get next. 144 worms. We'll do those because it's easy superiors and easy chance of, uh, well not easy, but the chance of dragon harpoon which we would quite like. Right, those worms were completed. Got a pretty nice loot haul, a lot of runes and got some dragon knives. No dragon harpoon unfortunately. Let's see what we get next. Thermonuclear smoke devil. We've got all the drops from that I think, but we'll kill it anyway. Um, we'll do 35, why not? Won't be too bad. Right, so some people have been asking if I'm still going to make videos. Obviously, I said in the last video I would do. I did try and put all the Hardcore Iron Man videos into one video, but it just kept on crashing when it was rendering. So I kind of gave up on that. There was like a lot of videos, like 46 or something to put in. Um, and it just kept on crashing. I don't think my computer could handle it, to be quite honest. Not a very good PC. But anyway, the plan for this account is basically to max. And we're going to do Slayer a lot, obviously. But we're hopefully going to try and only do boss slayer which is why in the last episode or earlier in this episode sorry um i unlocked the boss tasks so we can hopefully get a few of those um obviously we want to go to god wars dungeon sooner rather than later get all those drops so yeah it's going to be very very heavily pvm based um content so if you're into that then hopefully this is good for you if not like i said in the last episode um and you just wanted to watch hardcore stuff there's a lot of other, other good uh, content creators out there doing hardcore i know mr mammal's still going on his hardcore which is a uh, series that i like to watch as well so yeah if you aren't interested in normal iron man videos completely understandable um might make a hardcore in the future but definitely want to max this iron man first so that's gonna be my priority we're not too far away um and after maxing probably get quite a lot of drops on it um that we're missing um so yeah if you enjoy that kind of thing stick around leave a like um but yeah let's get on with the episode so if we have a look at the amount of rubies we've got, we've got over 250, which is the amount we need to make the medallion, which is basically a dig site pendant, but with unlimited charges that you can mount in your house. So we're going to quickly craft all of these rubies, make sure we get 250 cut rubies. Then we are going to go to the guy in Varok, get a medallion, and then I think you need like cosmic runes or fire runes or something. And then you can make uh, basically an unlimited dig site pendant and then we'll lock it in the house. Might also spend some time reorganizing the house, um, probably look up a guide on YouTube of like an efficient house layout because at the moment ours is just all over the place. So uh, so yeah, we'll probably do that. Been meaning to do that for absolutely ages. Then we'll go kill our thermonuclear smoke devils and then we'll see what task we get next. Right, if we talk to uh, this guy, I think we'll get a medallion. Oh, we need 100 cosmic, 100... Okay, right, okay. I've got the rubies, but we need the... I'll be right back. Right, okay, we're back with the runes. Let's see if we can get it this time. 100 cosmic. Oh, dig side pendant. Oh my god, we'll get it. <laughs> For God's sake. Uh, oh no. Okay, third time lucky. Right. Have it now? Yes. Hey. Right, now I think we use this on something and then we can put it in our house. So let's go do that and let's rearrange our house as well. Right, so we spent some time upgrading our house and moving stuff around. So we're going to spawn in here next to the fancy jewelry box um, and the occult altar. Put our jar of dirt in there, which is pretty nice. Got ourselves a gilded adventure log as well. Got ourselves a portal nexus next to the dig site pendant. Pretty nice. I'll show you the teleports in there. So we've got Waterbirth, Catherby, Harmony Island, Draenor Manor, Battlefront, 
which is near all the lizardmen. Cemetery, which is in the wildy. So we've got any clues that we need to do. Obviously got our gilded altar still here, which is nice. Then we've got our fairy ring here, spirit tree there, because we've got have 95 construction yet. Get them all in one. We've got our Weiss portal, our Carol portal, Luna Isle, Palador, Friend and Barrows portal. Got our little pet area which we have no pets for and our armor stand. And then the rest of the rooms are either for construction training itself, so we've got our mythic kit up there when we decide to dine. And we have our little study lectern up here and somewhere to store all our clue items. So yeah, either training or like handy stuff to have in our house. So that is our house setup at the moment. Probably change it um, when we get higher construction. We we'll get rid of the second superior garden and just have one. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, that is a house upgraded. So let's bank all of the stuff and gear for our thermi task. Right, thermonuclear smart devil's done. Let's see what we get next. 220 gargoyles again. Easy AFK, easy money. So been doing gargoyles. Well, we've not done that many, but I just would be such a huge like help for AFK if we had full guthans. So what we'll do is we'll get to 200 kills left, or six more to go. Then we'll try and snipe ourselves a Guthans Helm, I think it is, that we're missing. It's one Guthans piece, I think. Um, so we'll go back there and do a funny 30 chest, see if we can get lucky uh, and get our final Guthans item. Uh, if we can, it'll make such a huge difference. So we can AFK or we'll low HP, just whack on full Guthans, attack them, restore our HP, uh, and rinse and repeat. So, yeah, we'll kill four more, and then we'll go back and get our Guthans. Right, there we go, we're up to... 800 chests now. We got three items, well, four if you include the roll. Got Aaron's Rub Skirt, a Guthans War Spear, and Darok Plate Legs. We're still just missing Guthans Helm and Carol's Crossbow, like I just said, but up to a nice round 800 chests now. Probably do another 20 at some point, but for now, we're just going to go back to Slayer Task and get it done because the time we spent doing those chests, we could have completed the Slayer Task. So, never mind. Oh, oops. <laughs> Completely missed that. But got 99 strength. Um, so that's cool, I guess. Um, just got it on a Bando's guard as we're doing our elite loom. Oh, and then it's casket. I'm actually going to save quite a lot of clues, I'll show you. I've only got like a couple in the bank at the moment. Um, I'm going to save them until we get our Pegasians. So we're saving all the clues that we get. And we're going to open them all when we get our Pegasians. So hopefully when we open them, we uh, will get Ranger Boots and we won't have to farm uh, any clues. But yeah, we're keeping easy, medium, hard and elite and any masters that we get. But yeah, cool. 99 strength. Uh, second 99, yeah. I think HP and uh, strength. Uh, two 99s that we've got so far. Next closest is uh, farming, but that'll be overtaken probably by range pretty soon. So yeah, we've done that clue. We'll go back to our Slayer task now and... Right, that's Gargoyles done. Let's see what we get next. 131 Dark Beasts. Not really fancying those, so we'll skip. 20 Black Dragons. We can go and do those. That's no problem. Right, Black Dragons done. Let's see what we get next. 200 Cave Cracker. A lovely and AFK. I am going to end the episode there. I do apologise as well before for like the previous clips. There was some update to Streamlabs and it basically made my microphone a bit dodgy, so it kept on cutting out. So I've changed it now and I hope it's better. Um, let me know if it is. So yeah, going to end the episode there. We'll start the next Iron Man video off with the Cave Krakens. So I hope you have enjoyed the first Iron Man video and I will see you next time.